Hi guys, hope you're doing well. Uh, I have a this question. Uh, uh, this is a cell uh, which uh, we which has you know some content over here. Uh, it has some alphabets separated by the hash and the numbers and then again the hash, right? So uh, this person, uh, what he wants to do is he wants to find the uh, whatever it it is written after the you know last hash, right? And he said that uh, he has some this uh, data. Uh, wherein he has uh, three hashes okay three hashes so we call this 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 is called the hash sign right which is on your uh, keypad uh, three where you have this three number so uh, he has got these three hashes in this content or it could be something like this as well um, let's say we have some data here and uh, there is uh, numbers written, uh, written over here right so what he wants to do is uh, he wants to find this the output as something like this six seven one two seven triple six one so <coughs> I have uh, and he have uh, specifically mentioned in the in the email that uh, the entire data it has around 500 uh, cells and every cell has three hashes but the position of hashes it ke keeps on changing like in in this first cell you know you see we have a hash after aj uh, so it's on the third position and over here is on the fifth position so how you can get this output so see we can use this here the find function and uh, so it is not going to be a normal find function uh, i can say that it, it is going to be a combination of find function so i'll say it's you can use the advanced find function here right so you, what you can do here is um, you can find the idea i'm just telling you uh, the idea behind this you can find the position of all the finds one by one and then you can combine them right so let me break this up for you guys so that you can understand it otherwise when you make the complex formulas uh, you can actually do it in just one go right so this is uh, going to be I would say that I rate this question as a uh, uh, somewhere uh, between the intermediate and the advanced level this is not a basic function basic uh, query right so it's somewhere definitely uh, near to intermediate or advanced Excel so how you can achieve it uh, <coughs> let us create first three columns here okay instead of writing it here why don't we write here then we can code it the things very nice you know very easily so the first thing which you need to do is use the find function okay find function says the find text within text and the start number so what you need to find is you need to find the hash so I'll write here hash and within the text that's the why within the text and the now start number this time has to be one because I want the calculation to be done from the first so it is going to calculate the position of the first and as you know that uh, you know uh, this time uh, it is returning a five because we have we are using this let me cut this and paste this here okay and similarly if I drag this formula it will give me the three because the the in this AJ you have the position here hash now what you need to do is you need to simply do the plus one here right so I'm assuming that you must be uh, familiar with the find function you know and here I'm just about to tell you the trick wh what exactly is the trick so now again use use the second function you what you need to find is again you'll need to find the hash in this within the text text and the start number this time should not be one but this value six right so what will happen is this will give you the position of the second hash which is here after Donald right similarly again you pl uh, plus this value here and is it is going to give you the 13 and again you use this fine uh, again the hash and within this text and the start number this time would be 13 so that's the logic that's the trick you are going to use here all right so we have some problem here let us check what is the issue uh, Uh, we have this hash here okay yeah so unfortunately I just forgot that there are two hashes actually as per the person so I'll have to write here something like this yeah so three hashes so let me write this something like this right and similarly I have the three hashes here yeah so this is how you get the position of your this find and now what you can do is well, once you get this position you know that what what you need to do is you can use the mid function here so write the mid function here the text 
that is going to be the my text now start number has to be 16 and the number of characters let's say I need the 100 because I need all the numbers which appears after this last hash right so whatever is there I don't know it could be 6100 it could be 6712 or it could be uh, five characters or five numbers it could be four numbers two numbers whatever you know it could be uh, 50 numbers but just to ensure that every number is covered I am writing this hypothetical number 100 it could be 10 it could be uh, 1000 as well right so 100 means that if I would have uh, got these 100 numbers over here 6 1 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 A B C D E F and so on you know till 100 it can cover that much so here I'm getting the hash so obviously I'll not have to use the hash so in this parameter you know you need to write the plus one start number so this is how you can get and just drag this formula down it will work for this as well so this is how you can extract the function and uh, you can even make this one formula complex formula complex find instead of doing this you can uh, do the stuff like this as well find I will be quick here right so I assume that you guys are very much familiar with the mid and the find function and uh, if you're not then let me know we can discuss on that I also give my trainings which I'll be sh I will be sharing my email with you you can join the training as well I give the uh, coaching on the basic intermediate and the advanced excel and this is one of the stuff uh, you know one of the very uh, I would say the tiny stuff uh, which I have shared on this video just to uh, clear this doubt uh, the person who has wrote me this email and of course for the people for the audience who are watching this video they can even uh, start viewing uh, viewing this find you know uh, from today onwards uh, from a different perspective it is just not a normal find you can even use the find in find and then again in find right so let me just be quick here and let me add this find so this is the first find which I'm getting here I'll add the plus one here so that next time it should skip the first position of the hash now it, it is going to start from the sixth and at the sixth position I have the D right D alphabet as a Donald so again I'll write the find function I can uh, oops I'm sorry uh, okay so I'll write again the hash key here and this time again the same within this text and this time around the start number has to be this find what the value it is giving and you know that it is giving us the six right so I'll press the enter so now I have reached to this 12 level again I'll plus one to it to skip the second find uh, to skip the second hash again I'll come here and I'll say that hash and then within the text that's my text and what number I'm looking for of course this entire find in find right and you will get the 16 value here now once you have when once you got the uh, position of the last hash which is the third hash what you need to do is you simply need to plug in this mid formula so mid is used for this uh, basically to uh, you know extract the cell by giving the positioning by giving the destination by giving the you know the journey point right so I call this start number as a journey point and the number of characters as a destination point so from where to start and tell what uh, character you are supposed to go or to what value you know it includes even numbers as well so character wouldn't be the correct word but yes it can go to any value so I'm gonna start in this a2 cell and the start number is this time it has to start from here find and number of characters so I say that I need the thousand characters so this is going to give you the value right it is saying hash if you're interested in hash just keep it like this in case if you're not then you'll have to on this parameter start number you'll have to plus on this okay and this is how you can work on this right so thank you so much for this question I really appreciate uh, you wrote me this email and this is really something very interesting to note here because generally uh, we see this find as a you know just the basic function find but this is how you can use the find in find in find right so there is no limit to that and then we again use the mid function so I would say that overall this function is a very good function advanced function we have used here and uh, so once again thank you so much for this and uh, you can subscribe to my youtube channel as well if you are interested in more such videos the same stuff and uh, I have uploaded uh, around uh, 10 11 videos so far and every video is really really very nice uh, you can go through it and they just don't talk about the basic but they also talk about you know this kind of a stuff and you can really enhance your skills and in case if you are if you're a learner if you don't know the basic but you want to start your career in Excel you know want to be a business analyst maybe you want to be a MIS guy so you know Excel is used everywhere in almost 
every company the bigger the company is the you know bigger the data is and they are looking for the people who really know advanced excel and you who really know the vba you know the visual basic for the application so guys um, thank you so much for this um, start your learning from here and uh, start seeing the excel from a very different perspective from a very with a very different vision right that's my email id for you in case if you're interested in uh, writing some of your stuff or maybe if you want interested in the training that's my employee id uh, i'm sorry not the employee id but the email so this is my gmail id you can definitely write me an email uh, if you have some queries have some problem and uh, we can definitely i will be uploading the video very soon for that so watch out my other videos as well once you will be on this link you can definitely check the other videos so thank you so much for this and have a wonderful day ahead see you soon with the another video thanks guys very much